Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, our respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. Today's episode is the Quranic miracle of prophecies. In the previous episodes, we had mentioned how a person, regardless of whether or not they are capable of assessing the Arabic language and are familiar with it or not, could measure the primary miracle which the Quran ascribes to itself, namely the linguistic miracle. We had demonstrated that this could be done within the boundaries and restrictions which an Arabic speaker or author has an access to, and yet this challenge remains open to all such people. Of course, we do not claim that the individuals in the past have attempted to meet such challenges in challenging the authority of the Quran and the linguistic miracle. Yet we find that even non-Muslim Arabic specialists have found such attempts to be laughable and completely unconvincing at reaching the same linguistic and rhetorical heights which the Quran has been able to reach. We had mentioned that the Quran's primary miracle is the linguistic one and more importantly that the linguistic challenge could be met by a person today if they felt that the Quran was not actually something divinely revealed. Yet we had also mentioned that the Quran is not merely miraculous from one isolated angle which is to say that the Quran is continually proving itself to be miraculous from numerous dimensions. One of the dimensions which we shall explore over the next few episodes, which we introduce today, is the concept of prophecy. Now, prophecy is particularly important because if it couldn't be demonstrated that information which is foretold by a person in the past, which is completely unlikely to occur in the light of contemporary circumstances, actually comes to pass, then in reality, we could have to believe that after making several such prophecies that the one who uttered them was indeed a prophet of God and did indeed have a connection to a divine source. The occurrence of such prophecies therefore could be seen as validating two positions. Firstly, validating the existence of a God who wishes to communicate with his creation and more importantly validating the position of the one who claims prophethood for himself. In the next few episodes we will exploring some of the prophecies featured within the Holy Quran. This is for today's episode. Until we meet with the new episodes, thank you very much indeed for being with us. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.